Quotas provide a way to limit disk space usage on a per-user basis on network file servers. This can help you fairly allocate limited resources among a multitude of users so that limited resources can be shared effectively. We're going to be working with quotas today. First, let's take a look at uh, simple quotas, and then we'll take a look at quota templates. Let's implement a simple quota on a basic NTFS volume. So to activate simple quotas, I'd simply hop on my 2008 server. I'm going to right click on this partition here. I'm going to select properties. I'm going to go to the quota tab. And I want to click on enable quota management. And then I have several options, but I want to deny disk space to users exceeding the quota limit. Um, notice I can select the default quota limit for new users on this volume, and I can limit disk space for them or do not limit. Um, I'm going to leave that as it is, and then I could also could, could select you know quota logging options. Log an event when a user exceeds their quota limit. We're going to go ahead and take that option. Log an event when a user exceeds their warning level, and that way we can know if maybe we need to increase. If there's a legitimate reason and they're running out of space, then that'll give us a heads up and we can increase their space when they need it. Okay, um, now what I want to do is go ahead and click on quota entries. I'm going to add some users in now. Um, so I'm going to select new quota entry. And I'm going to click on advanced and find now. And this will let me go through and search through all the users that I have. Okay, and these are all users of my Active Directory domain. So we're going to add Gaius Baltar. And we'll set his limit to 10 kilobytes and his warning level to 8 kilobytes. Of course, obviously, you'd never, you know, give a real user uh, limits that small, but the idea is we're trying to generate some warning messages and some permission denied and things like that when we exceed our quota limit, so we'll do that. Okay, and then I'm going to add a few more users. Um, this guy is Baltar. I'm going to add Adama. And he can have unlimited disk space. After all, he is the commander. And I'm going to add Apollo. And he gets. Well, he gets more than Gaius Baltar, but not as much as um, Commander Adama there. Okay, so just to give you an example of some of the users that would be added here. Notice like later I can come and figure out how much of their space you know they've used, the limits that they've consumed here. So I've added them all um, as quota entries. And I've enabled quotas. And I've also set up logging. So let's hop on over to um, a Windows 7 workstation and we'll test our file server out. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. I want to enable the quota system. And I have these shared folders here. And this is what I'm going to be testing. You know, Ideally, in a company's uh, file server, you, that's where you would want to set up quotas. So people that are using network storage you know, don't fill it up with uh, things that don't need to be there. You know, yes, you want them to, to be able to store their work and their data. That doesn't mean you want them to be able to store their entire uh, MP3 collection or you know, 100 gigabytes of their favorite videos or something on, on company servers. So quotas kind of give us a means of forcing users to share you know, um, the resources and a way of allocating the resources in such a way where everyone can use them um, fairly to get their jobs done. So let's hop on over to that Windows 7 workstation and we'll make some files. Meanwhile, on our Windows 7 workstation, we're on our Windows 7 workstation now, and I'm going to go to our file server, which was the Pegasus. And I'm logged in as Adama in this case. So right now my quota limits are unlimited. And I'm just going to try to find some files to copy here. Um, nothing too large, but let's find something here that we can. Fast forward!
Okay, so there's no, no real limitations here on Adama. Now I'm going to log out and log in as another user. We'll log in as Gaius Balter. All right, so we'll log in as Gaius Baltar. And we'll try the same thing. Okay, so we've logged in as Gaius Baltar. And I'm going to go ahead and access, again, our network file server, the Pegasus. And on this volume, I'm going to come over here and let me open up another window here for Gaius Baltar. And let's say that he is going to try to copy, um, on copy reg edit, which exceeds his quota limit. And then we'll, we'll attempt to generate that, and then we'll attempt to generate a warning. Let's see. Let's throw that over here. Okay, notice it says there was not enough space for this item. And, you know, again, it's not that there's not enough space on the drive. It's that he's exceeding his quota limit there. So he can't do that. Um, let's find something a little bit less than 10 kilobytes. Let me see. 13.5. Sixty-six. All right, here we go. This is one point two eight kilobytes. So we're able to copy it the first time. I do it again. A third time, and now notice the third time. There's not enough space for this item. So, you know, the first two times we had not yet exceeded our quota limitations, but now we're starting to get a warning because we're approaching the limit, our quota limit. So just an example of setting up simple quotas and two different users um, with different quota entries. Next, we're going to take a look at quota templates. Now let's add the file server resource manager role service. We're going to implement a quota template, and to do this, First, we need to implement the file resource manager role. So I'm going to go ahead and click on server manager. And I'm already implementing the file services role. Um, when we did simple quotas and we shared out the folders, that installs some of the features of file services. So just sharing a folder, you know, the act of that will give you file services. If not, you'll need to, you know, first add the file services role and then you can add the, you know, resource manager. So I'm going to open up roles here, and had I have not added, you know, shared that directory, and it, had it not added parts of file services, I'd have to go here and click roles and add file services. Since I have and it did, I'm going to right click on file services and say add role services. And this time I want to choose file server resource manager, and I'm going to click next. And then notice you can monitor the amount of space used on each volume. Well, this is my system volumes. I'm not implementing quotas there. Uh, nor shadow copies, but here, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and monitor um, you know, E here. I'm going to click on Next. Notice my options here. Um, save reports in this location. Storage reports, you can go with the default or change it to something you prefer. And I can also specify that I save reports by email. So that's kind of a nice feature. That will you know, kind of give me a heads up if I need to increase somebody's quota limits or if somebody's getting close to exceeding their threshold there. Um, I'm going to click on Next and click on Install. Okay, installation has succeeded. Okay, let's create a quota template. Now that it's installed, let's open the File uh, Server Resource Manager and create a quota template. So I'm going to go to Administrative Tools. I'm going to click on File Server Resource Manager. And I want to go here to Quota Management. I want to open these nodes. And notice I can see my you know, quotas here that I have in place on E.
And notice if I come down here to Quota Templates, there are several default templates I can choose to build new Quota Templates from. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Create Quota Template. And look at the different options here. You know, 100 megabyte limit, 200 megabyte limit, um, 250 megabyte extended limit, 200 gigabyte volume, you know, lots of options to choose. I'm going to go with 100 megabyte limit. And I'm just going to call this the Pirate's Quota. And the fleet there. Okay, when I get down here, notice I can choose, um, you know, again, the limitations here. If I wanted to specify, I could modify the settings of this template, you know, to suit whatever my organization or company's needs were. Notice I can choose hard and soft quota. And, you know, a hard quota, it's absolutely not going to let them exceed the recommended disk usage space that you've allocated for them. Soft quota, it would allow them to exceed it, but it would nag them or warn them that they've exceeded that threshold. And then if I come down here to notification thresholds, notice I can click on add. And look at my options here. Generate notifications when usage reaches 85% of the quota limit. And that options are I could choose to send an email to me, you know, if I'm worthy administrator or to another administrator. I could also send an email to the user who exceeded the threshold. And I could customize the message. And these are just string variables here that would be inserted. Um, and then select the variable to insert in your text. And, and again, those are some of the options there, additional email headers. So there are plenty of options available in terms of emailing you when something goes wrong. You know, someone gets close to you know, uh, exceeding their quota limitation. Next tab we're going to look at is event log. Notice that I can send a warning to the event logs. I can write an entry into the log. And I have some of the same you know, options here. The next option we'll look at is I can run a command. I could play a sound file, you know, red alert, or have some sound go off. Or I could fire up an application and cause it to do something. So lots of choices there. And then finally over here I could generate a report um, and just notice some of the options that I have here as far as generating a report. And send reports to the following administrators, some reports to the user who exceeded the threshold. So just some of my options there if I say choose. Okay. I'm going to click on OK and OK. And there's our quota template, Pirates Quota. Now let's create a quota from a quota template. Let's take a look at setting up a, you know, a new quota from a quota template. Before we do that, remember that we did quotas the old way, the simple way. That was the first method that we chose. And if I go to the quota tab, see how that quota is still enabled. So I'm going to have to remove this old quota to implement a new one based on the template. And also look at the quota entries. Remember Gaius Balter had exceeded his quota limit. And there's a warning message for him. And then there's Adama, who has unlimited you know, storage and he has no limit on him. So we'll need to remove this quota. And I mean, I can disable it and deny it, you know, I can choose that option, but it's not the same thing as removing it. So I can manage that and do all of that. If I go here, start, administrative tools, um, file server resource manager. And this time I'm going to come down here and go to quotas. Notice here's a quota placed on this volume here. So I'm going to right click and I could reset the peak usage, I could disable quotas, you know. It's neat that the tool provides centralized management. So if I had multiple partitions, multiple drives, it's great that I can kind of manage everything from one central location now. And vastly an improvement over the, you know, the, the older, more primitive means of implementing quotas. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose to delete this. Okay, so now that quota no longer exists. I'm going to right click on quotas and I'm going to say create quota. And notice that I can choose a path here or I can auto apply template and create quotas on existing and new subfolders. Well, I'm just going to choose this partition here. Okay, and then I can choose a template. So down here is our pirates quota template that we created. And I mean, if I wanted to, I also have the option of using custom properties and I could go in and configure it as such. But the whole idea behind templates is that we don't have to do that every time. Right, we can just make use of the template and apply it. 
So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click on create. And there's my quota based on my template. Finally, let's utilize the file server resource manager to generate storage reports. In addition to centralizing the management of quotas, the file services resource manager also has advanced reporting capabilities. Let's take a quick look at those. If I click on storage reports management, I can schedule a new report task. And if I want to, I could go through and select all of these parameters here. Um, I'm going to place, you know, I want to build this report based on the, the volume here where I have my quota set up. And notice I can, you know, check or uncheck any of these depending on what I want to include in the report. I can also edit parameters on this. And, you know, the parameter lists are different for each option, but I can get there by clicking on edit parameters. I can choose to format HTML, XML, comma separated values, text. I'm going to go with the default there. If I go to the delivery tab, I can choose to send an email to the administrator if I want. If quota limits are exceeded, I can schedule reports. Um, you know, I can create a new schedule here, you know, at 9 a.m. every day starting 3, 5, 20, 11, or so forth. So I can, you know, have options there. Um, I could click on OK and OK. And if I did that, then this would be, you know, my schedule for um, generating that report every day at 9 a.m. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that report because I'm not going to wait that long. But if I right click over here, notice I can also generate reports now. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on generate reports now. And I'm just going to add in a few fields here. Um, just a few fields here, definitely quota usage. Um, I'm going to leave it as DHTML and I'm going to add, in this case, the volume here where I'm implementing quotas. I'm going to click on OK. Notice that I can do it in the background, in which case I can go to the you know, storage volume folder and look under scheduled reports and generated reports and collect it that way, or I can simply wait for it to be displayed. I'm going to choose the first option, wait for reports to be generated and then display them. Okay, and it did that as DHTML. And then here are the report statistics that I have. And then let me go ahead and close this. And then I'll go down here. Most recently accessed files report. I mean, you can look at all the different reports here, but pretty, you know, pretty nice feature there. Kind of lets me do lots of things in terms of analyzing disk usage, trying to establish baselines, plan system upgrades, you know, when I need more hard drive space or when I need to allocate, um, you know, more disk space for certain users when they're reaching the limitations of their quotas. Just definitely a nice, nice reporting tool there. And that pretty much concludes um, File Server Resource Manager.